Sassoon got another goal very late on in this one, and Adegula almost scored from the halfway line, but it did finish 4-2 to Real Madrid, taking all three points back to the capital, and they continue to lead the way in La Liga. Let's now welcome in Luis Garcia and Alex Kirkland from Spain. Let me start with you, Luis Garcia. Vinny Jr. delivering once again. Delivering and delivering his style. We saw a fantastic performance from him. It's true that we don't lie when he gets involved with the referee. It's true that we don't lie when he gets involved with the crowd, but we enjoy so much when he's on the ball. If you, if you give the, the space to Vinny Jr., he's going to exploit him. Today, I think that uh, Osasuna didn't make or didn't see much uh, Real Madrid play in the last few years because once you got Vinny coming ahead to you, what you don't want is to flip around, to try to be the clever, to try to be smart. No, no, you put the ball away from it. And in the second, when you got a space, you cannot make the line with Vinny Jr. on the run because that's perfect for his style of play. He waits until the last moment, he's calmed down, he's relaxed, he's got composure because he's been learning in the past three years and that touch is just magnificent. Once again, Vinny delivering another two goals, Top of uh, scorer of La Liga, I think one behind uh, Jude Bellingham, his former uh, teammate. And again, he's showing that he's so talented, so quality, and he just needs to get away from all kind of uh, controversy. You can just see, since his return from injury, the figures that he's putting up there. He's going to be a big miss against Athletic once play returns, Alex. Yeah, fortunately for Real Madrid, just as he is absent, Jude Bellingham comes back from his suspension. Because you would worry about this Real Madrid team and I think their goal-scoring capability without Jude Bellingham and without Vinicius Jr. on the pitch. So it's good news for Madrid that Bellingham will be back as Vinicius misses out. But yeah, this is not a time that you want Vinicius to be out of the team. Like you say, his form is, is fantastic. It's six goals in four games now. Scored those two goals against Valencia, scored against Leipzig, scored against Celta. And, and, here, and he's just... Uh, when he plays like this at times, he just looks unplayable, Vinicius Jr. It looks like there's absolutely nothing the defenders can do because he's so, he's so quick. He's always had that... That pace, he's added kind of this incredible strength over the years. So that combination, when he's on the ball, you can't get it, you can't get the ball off him. You can't beat him for pace. When he's in behind, it's almost end of story because his finishing is so much better than it used to be as as well. Another really good performance from uh, from him, decisive, and yet it's unfortunate from a Madrid point of view uh, that he won't be available against Athletic, a, a very tough potential game against one of the most informed teams in La Liga right now. Part of what made Vinny Jr. unplayable today, to use Alex's description, is the fact that he didn't just park himself on the left-hand side, which allows defenders to use the sideline as an additional defender. What he did today is that there was variety. So he was on the left, but now he also got on the inside shoulder of the outside back. He also got on the inside shoulder of the central defender, and he was willing to run in behind on inside channels. So when you have that sort of variety, you create confusion for the back line. So as much as Osasuna had a back three, it didn't matter because he's making runs splitting that back three or he's floating into spaces in front of the back three, which then pulls players out of position and it opens up space for the runs of Valverde coming late for the runs of Rodrigo to go in behind for the run of whoever wants to run out of the midfield from Real Madrid. So he becomes unplayable because there is variety. 1v1 situation on the outside, but I can also work the inside. That forces players out of position and it allows you to create space for yourself and create space for others. Vinny aside, Luis, who stood out to you today for Real Madrid? I was talking about uh, uh, Brahim Diaz in the beginning of the of the game, and I think he did a, a very great job. Uh, he, we, we need to think that he's involved because Jude Bellingham wasn't re ready for this game, so he needs to prove that he had got value to the team, and he was fantastic. He got a fantastic pass for the for the first goal, for the second goal, and that run is just great. The amount of space he covered, running all around, arriving and taking that composure, taking the decision of finishing nice and calm. I think it was great understanding what is the, 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 the space to, to have to run. Then you go to a striker, they are sticking with the center backs. The space is created. Catena, once again, I think a wrong mistake, but he saw the space. He started making the run into the middle and he did a score once again. He's providing, he's delivering when he's needed. And I think, once again, he's a fantastic player for Real Madrid for these moments when he's more needed, when they, they, they didn't miss rotation. And in terms of personnel, Alex, it is about to get better with injured players returning, especially with an international break coming up now. Yeah, you've got this long spell now where you've got an international break, you've got the week of the Copa del Rey final where there's no La Liga action as well. So that's kind of helpful for Real Madrid at this point in terms of getting these players back and getting them available. We've talked about uh, Courtois and Militao in particular coming back into the team. Uh, Courtois, I mean, let's be, let's be honest, in his absence, 
they haven't suffered that much because Andre Lunin's come in and done, in general, a very, very good job. You would expect Courtois when fit to come back into the team. Minitao as well. We saw Rudiger, who's having a fantastic season. I think maybe Madrid's most important player after Bellingham and Vinicius at centre-back. Today it was Chouameni alongside him as well. But Minitao, when fully fit, is such an important player, one of the best defenders in, in the world. So that's, that's good news. The other player I wanted to pick up on as well, I think it would be unfair not to mention Fede Valverde, who um, I think got uh, was it a hat-trick of assists today involved in three of the goals. He's having a really good season and maybe it's sort of quietly so as well because he's not quite scoring as many spectacular goals as he did maybe a year or 18 months ago. So not getting as many headlines. But in terms of his all-round team play, I think Fede Valverde is having an exceptional season and he was, he was very, very good today as well. 